how do you envision mobility in 2050? Um, funny thing, I had recently a workshop um, in one of the Middle East uh, um, areas to describe or to answer exactly these kind of questions. So what we will see is definitely more smartification. We will have a higher density of connectivity where vehicles have to talk with each other, where they have to, uh, to talk with the infrastructure. Um, public transportation in Europe is fun. Um, there is definitely potential for more. Um, areas like in the US, for example, here I see a huge potential for self-driving vehicles that simply without the Uber driver will drive you wherever you need. Um, so this personal connectivity, we talk here about cocooning, when you enter a vehicle and simply everything what you are familiar to do simply follows you. It's part of your personal ecosystem. So here having these connected vehicles um, that can adapt onto your needs where the most important is however a smartphone in the future will look like. But this will stay the most important. You will order it. Your only concern will be can I afford premium or do I pay just the, 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 the cheaper price? If it mm -hmm. swims, if it flies, if it submerges, if it drives, how many wheels it will have? You will not really care. If we can set up, let's say in the US, we have this, uh, this very strong initiatives towards uh, Hyperloop. So this kind of super fast uh, transportation method, we'll see. An additional, um, additional potential is in advanced air mobility. When uh, in the US, this Pony Express feeling, hopping from one uh, small point to another to get fast across the, the, the country might be something with smaller uh, devices that can carry, let's say, up to five or nine passengers and simply providing multiple services, connecting all of these different small regional airports and airfields. Um, mm -hmm. We see in Amsterdam were tested autonomous boats, so-called rowboats, where you simply call via an app uh, um, one of these devices and it drives you across the channels wherever you need to be. So we will see a Cambrian explosion of mobility devices serving the necessary needs. They're, again, not a one-size-fits-all. Maybe in California will be a slightly different uh, um, infrastructure for mobility than in Texas. Fair mm -hmm. enough, it's okay. As long as we, as consumers, will have a seamless mobility app that we do not need to install in, 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 in every city something specific. It mm -hmm. needs to be seamless. And of course, my personal well-being, my personal mobility behavior needs to be served by this. Yeah. Otherwise, everything else is irrelevant. We will find a solution.